Hey YouTube, it's your girl, um, Jay Marie, and I am coming back to you guys with another update. Um, this will be a update after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a, have had a, a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, my Thanksgiving was um, just house hopping. Me and my husband, we went to my family's house first and we stopped by over there and um we hung out with them and watched everybody cook had loads and loads of tons of food fun then we went and um spent time with his family and my in-laws um and we had got a plate from them Things that's been going on with me, TTC-wise, um, I have been just waiting and waiting and waiting for these results. Um, I have one more day until I get to find out, well, actually two more days today and tomorrow. And then I find out Monday. Um, tomorrow, today is my last day that I'm off before I have to work tomorrow and tomorrow is going to be the last day i have to work until wednesday night um because tomorrow is my last day at my other job at my job that i'm at now that's my last day and then i'm on to my new job um on wednesday night at six o'clock and then i get off at 4 30. so i just been eating a ton y'all it has been crazy, um, especially for me, it has been very, very crazy. Can't sleep at night, very uncomfortable to sleep, can't figure out how I want to sleep. Um, boobs are so sore, you guys, it's so sore. It's very, very uncomfortable. Um, still bloated. I have a couple of breakouts on my face and skin is very, very dry. Eczema is really out there. I'm just nervous about this test, you guys. I'm just so nervous. I'm hoping it just comes out positive. Um, this is one of the times where when we stopped trying, then, you know, things started changing with me. And I'm just like, hold on, wait a minute. This is not normal. So, um, at first, my um, nurse my nurse from my RE's office is like, well, it sounds like your um, irregular cycles are starting back. And I'm just like, here they go. Negative. So I'll speak it negative again. Um, and I was just like, well, I, I let her know, like, you know, I got off my Femera. I had stopped trying and just to get surprised with light bleeding and have me thinking, like, wait a minute. This never happens to me. So she rushed the order. It's crazy how she finally get in contact with me a day before Thanksgiving. And she rushed an order for me to go in that day, which you guys seen the videos when I had posted that I was going into LabCorp. So she rushed the order in for me to go to LabCorp um, that day on Wednesday. Um, and I was just like, why y'all couldn't get a hold of me last week? Because I've been trying to call them for like a week or two now. Because um, I just want to know so bad. So she was like, well, since it's the holidays, the earliest they'll come back is Monday. And I said, okay. You know, like, okay. I think I, I can handle this. Um, so what I've been doing to pass the time is I've been trying to do YouTube. Um, and I've been on my app called Preggies. That has been really helping me. The ladies on there, as I was saying in my last video, the ladies on there are very helpful. I know in my last couple of updates, she wasn't able to see belly shots and all that good stuff. But I'm going to do a belly shot and a body shot today. So you guys will be able to see how um, 
how big I done got. I done got huge. Um, so just waiting for the results to come back from Monday. Um, she let me know that if my test results come back on positive, depending on how far along I am, um, my first appointment will be at eight weeks. So if and then it's crazy because if it's positive and I'm as far as long as I think I am, I'm 10 weeks in a couple of days. So, yeah, way past my eight-week appointment. So, I'm just hoping for the best results ever. And also, again, if um, if it's positive, you know, I'm just going to, I think I'm not going to upload um, my updates until maybe about 13, 14 weeks, but I think I will record them and leave them on my laptop and then upload them one by one. I don't know. We all just have to come to that. Um, me and my husband, we also was having like a back and forth type thing because um, he's like, oh, well, if you're pregnant, I don't want you to find out the gender of the baby. We're going to have a gender reveal party and what mix them with the baby shower. So he's excited about that. Um, me personally, if we do find out if we do find out that this is my BFP, I am gonna try to find out a cute way to tell him that I'm pregnant and you know, wait until about 14, 15 weeks to let my rest of my family know and whoever doesn't know won't know, but I will definitely let you guys know and um we'll work everything else out and We'll have the updates. I'm just ready for this emotional roller coaster to be over, you guys. Um, what else? Tiredness. I have been so tired. I have been laying in my bed all day. Um, I just finally just got the strength to get up and make this video because I am so so tired. But I was like, okay, I just need to go ahead and make the video. Um, my hands has been swelling. It's kind of, I don't know what's been going on, but my hands, fingers, everything has been swelling all throughout the night. And it just, okay. Oh, I don't know. I think something with me and chicken, something is going on. Because every time I have chicken, I get sick. Like, it's just, mm. but I love chicken. And I'm just going to keep on eating it and, and drinking um ginger ale so um Monday can't come fast enough and I just want to know um but if it comes back negative I'm still gonna be okay you guys um it's gonna be heartbreaking but I'm still gonna be making videos um and again it probably wasn't probably won't if it's negative it probably won't be another active TTC we're just gonna go ahead and and say Whenever um, God is ready for us to have one, we will have one. We're going to put it all in his hands. Um, and we're just going to keep praying. I'm praying every day that this is my BFP. I prayed um, when my cycle didn't come. I prayed when the light bleeding happened. I prayed when she called me back and said, go to lab court. So I'm going to continue to pray and pray and pray all the way to Monday. Um, and we're going to find out and then they're going to say what their next steps are. But at the end of the day, I'm tired of medication. I'm tired of all that. Um, if it happens, it happens. And I'm going to be so very grateful and gracious to God. I'm going to just praise him because I'm just going to be so happy that he could do that for me. So whenever he's ready, I'm ready. Um, I'm just staying positive about the thing, but Everybody, uh, my mom, she's like, oh, my God, you're getting bad. I'm like, wow. <coughs> Bless me. And my husband, he's like, baby, your cheeks are huge. And I'm like, see how they do me? But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I will try to get um, another video up. Who's to say that's going to happen? I don't know. I've just been too tired. And it's like closing down with school. My, my second semester is coming to an end. And um, I'm just so tired. So 
I'm just so excited. <laughs> but um, I'm going to do a body shot. You guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. You guys, let me know what you think. And here we go. I really feel like my boobs are huge and they hurt too bad. Oops. I'm very, very comfortable today. Uh, all right. So this is from the front. The side. Other side. And from the front, from this side. All right, you guys. You guys, let me know what you think. And also, frequent urination is so terrible. But I'm going to let you guys go and rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for those following my journey. And hopefully, I get my BFP on Monday. Mm -hmm. Bye, ladies.